Try all this in one voice. <gasps> What's good, Stu Nation? It's your boy Stu, and I'm back with another vlog. And if you're new to my channel, uh, to win the chance to be the subscriber and comment winner at the bottom. <laughs> to ah, f <sighs> What's good, Stu Nation? It's your boy Stu, and I am back with another vlog. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom and comment Stu in the comment box and hashtag Stu Nation to enter your chance to be the comment winner of my next video. I love you guys. <sighs> Last time we checked in with each other, I was working on my bike. I had just changed my rear sprocket and I had just changed the sprocket cover. So right before I ended that vlog, I had realized there was a, a liquid substance leaking from the bike. I had no clue what it was. It looked like oil, but I wasn't sure. After further inspection, I realized it was coolant coming from the water pump. Now, the reason why it was coming from the water pump when the bike was dropped, one of the screws that hold the water pump together was broken off. So I went ahead and I ordered a brand new water pump. Well, I'm not gonna say brand new, brand new to me because I never seen it before and it wasn't on a bike before. So that makes it new to me. And also today we're gonna to do an oil change and then coolant flush on the bike. I also grabbed a right side rear view mirror because when I first bought the bike, it did not have it on there. The state law says that you don't have to have two rear view mirrors, but I'm rebuilding a bike. When the bike was made, it had two rear view mirrors. So yeah, and plus it looks kind of tacky with just one. I mean, some people take their rear view mirror off and just kind of ride with no rear view mirrors, but that's not me, okay? Like I was saying before, if you look and see right there, that piece is not supposed to be missing. It's supposed to be a screw there. At the bottom of that bolt, that is the liquid that I was talking about. So that is coolant. So now that I got the fairing off, all I have to do is reach in here, twist the oil filter a couple times, let it drain out. It's been dripping on the pipes a little bit, but that's okay because I can just wipe the excess off. But like I said earlier, look how dark that oil is. It should no way be that dark. You can tell it's been a while since they changed the oil. Yeah. Dump that right in there. While this drain it, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the new water pump. No, no. I 
finally got the old water pump off and you can see how bad this thing is. Look at that. Nasty. Matter of fact, you can see where the guy tried to put some type of bond on it just to keep it together instead of buying a whole new water pump. Well, we gotta worry about that one more. Now we got the new one. A lot better. Now that I got the new water pump on, now I can go ahead and start putting everything back together so far as the oil so I can fill this up with new oil and then do the cooling flush. Now, all I have to do is fill it up with oil until this gets about to the halfway mark right here. All right, next. And one of the final things we have to do is a coolant flush. Way better than before when we first started. So I ended up running into a problem where the bike wouldn't start even after I did all the work that I did to it. Turns out that this right here, the guy who owned it previously, had all types of different fuses in here. But I ran over to O'Reilly's. and got all the right fuses to go inside there and now it cranks up not saying that it didn't before but it had a problem today with cranking up